the joy the second fruit of the spirit joy isn't emotional in a sense that we commonly think of joy rather it is a state of being undisturbed by the negative things in life when we think of joy we think about being happy situations that gives us that butterfly feeling down on the inside romans 15 13 states now the god of hope Fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. When we rest in joy, which is God, we are able to recognize who is really in control of it all. Praising, worshiping, glorifying, and praying to God on a daily, religiously allowing that deeper connection with Him where no challenges, situations, or persons can take away our joy, and you are more able to command the mood in which you desire for your day. We need to start speaking to our situations with authority. In John 16, 24 states, Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name. Ask and ye shall receive, that joy may be full. According to Rick Warren, who defined joy as the settled assurance that God is in control of all the details of our life, the quiet confidence that ultimately everything is going to be all right, and the determined choice to praise God in every situation. James chapter 1 verse 2 to 4 states, My brethren, count it all as joy. When ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of faith work at patience, but let patience have a perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Endure and persevere in faith. Transact in faith. Let thing, nothing cause your joy to waver. The fruit of the spirit joy is associated with the fruit pineapple and we all know how sweet this fruit is. But once we don't clean that brown part known as the eye, we all endure that scratching and irritation of the tongue and skin. All this to see, when we are operating in joy, the fruit of the Spirit, we have to remove all the negatives from our lives or not allow the negatives to control our lives, but rather allow the sweetness of joy to properly saturate our taste buds known as our lives. The fruit of joy is given to us so that we can understand that we cannot operate in this world without the Holy Spirit dwelling within us. We would be walking around angry, bitter, confused, unhappy, and all the other negative Satan throws in our lives to command our mood. The storm may be raging the turbulence being too strong but despite it all despite it all count it all as joy philippians 4 4 said rejoice in the lord always and again i say rejoice